Unraveling the mystery. Adjectives versus adverbs. Hello language enthusiasts. Today we're going to delve into a significant aspect of English grammar that can sometimes cause confusion. Understanding the difference between adjectives and adverbs. We'll focus especially on how to identify them in sentences. So, fasten your seatbelts, as we're about to make grammar a breeze. To start off, let's get our basics right. Adjectives are words that describe or modify other words, typically nouns and pronouns. For example, in the sentence, she wore a beautiful dress, beautiful, is the adjective modifying the noun, dress. On the other hand, adverbs typically describe verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. They often tell how, when, where, and to what extent something was done. For instance, in, he ran quickly, quickly, is an adverb that tells us how he ran. When identifying adjectives in sentences, look for words that answer the questions. What kind? How many? Or, which one? Regarding a noun or a pronoun. Let's take a sentence. The old man had three beautiful cats. Old answers the question, what kind of man? And beautiful answers, what kind of cats? Hence, both old and beautiful are adjectives in this sentence. Now, let's move on to adverbs. When identifying adverbs, look for words that modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. They usually answer the questions, how, when, where, and to what extent. Let's analyze the sentence. She gently opened the quite heavy door. Gently tells us how she opened the door, and quite tells us to what extent the door is heavy. Thus, both gently and quite are adverbs in this sentence. It's important to note a common pitfall when dealing with adverbs and adjectives. Adjectives are often mistaken for adverbs because they can appear after verbs that deal with senses such as feel, look, taste, smell, and sound. Remember, in these cases, the adjectives are still describing the subject of the sentence, not the verb. For example, in the soup smells good, good, is an adjective that describes the soup, not how the soup smells. And there you have it. We've demystified the use of adjectives and adverbs in English. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, keep identifying these in your reading and writing to reinforce your understanding. We hope this video has clarified the differences between adjectives and adverbs and helps you use them correctly in your English learning journey. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning.